Hello, welcome back. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, hook up the uh, edit, uh, hook up the slider, hook up the slider. So what am I talking about? On edit, this thing here, we'd actually like that to scale the intensity. So how do we do that? Let's start writing some code. So here's the UI stuff uh, for this view, the select yeah, here we go. Here's the UI stuff for this view. Now we want to create some code, uh, a view controller. So I'm going to go over here, do the usual thing, new file, and we're going to create a UI view controller. Perfect. And we're going to call it linear uh, adjustment view controller. create that. Okay, let's change this to UI kit right away. We know we're going to need that. Uh, let's go back to our storyboard and let's create outlets for these two things. Uh, so with the assistant on and with the assistant showing our new class called the linear adjustment view controller, we can control drag to create a couple of outlets. Oh, but we can only do that after we go to this class and say you are associated with the linear adjustment view controller. So now we'll do it again, control drag, there. And we want to call that the slider. Connect that. And let's create that letter for this label. Label. Click that. So the code in here is going to have to, um, yes, when this is shown, we want the uh, label and this thing to update. So let's put some initial code in here. Uh, view did load. Nice. Okay, super. Of course, we always call our super class. Okay. Um, then let's just set the label. Now to do that we're actually going to need the filter. So somehow someone has to pass this class what filter it's actually editing. So let's create a variable um, called filter and this has to be a linear adjustable filter. Okay, um, so Oh, and that's going to be question mark because we don't know if we have it. We know we do, but uh, we know by the time view gets loaded, it will be set. So let's now update the label. Label text equals, um, what do we want it to be? We want to go to the filter. Ah, here's a problem and I'd like to get to the name property but linear adjustable filter uh, it, it doesn't know that a linear adjustable filter is also a filter. I'm going to quickly go back to our filter prototype and we're going to use something called uh, prototype inheritance so anything that is a linear adjustable filter colon is also a filter Okay, so now our linear adjustable filter will also have a name. So now we can go over here and type in name. At least that's the theory. Oh, hurry up. I can't believe autocomplete didn't give that to me automatically. Sorry about that, folks. 
um, yeah it is we did do that correctly um, I'm just shocked that when I typed it in it didn't autocomplete I'm not sure why but it's syntactically correct which is appropriate so let's just continue on uh, so next challenge we need to figure out how to set the filter on the linear adjustment view controller right let's go over to our select filters view controller and when the guy clicks on on edit this is probably a good spot to um, set that filter but how does on edit know what filter to set? Hmm. Okay. Um, to do that, we need to um, we need to do a little trick. Okay. Um, what I'm going to recommend we do is uh, when this button gets clicked, it actually gets sent as the sender. So if we could only read something from the button that would let us identify what filter uh, we're on. And actually there is something we can use, it's called the tag. So the tag will let us store an arbitrary integer inside one of these things, so it's an extra chunk of data. Let's start doing that. Um, so, uh, for starters, when we create this custom filter cell, we want to pass along one more useful piece of information. So let's go to the filter cell. Custom filter cell. We now also want a tag, which is an int, to be passed in. Uh, and we're going to store that in the... Actually, I'm going to call that the... No, tag's fine. Um, let's store it in the edit button. So we'll go self.edit button dot tag equals tag. Right? So that's pretty simple. All we've done is we're storing an integer inside that button. Uh, let's go back to our select filters view controller. Now we need to actually pass that information into the method that we just altered. So now we pass in the, uh, the current row. Uh, and that's also an integer. And why is it complaining? I'm not 100% sure. I think it's just being slow. Oh, no. Need that tag label. Right. Perfect. Okay. Silly me. Now uh, let's go um, up to our on edit. Um, we know that the sender is a button, so we can just cast it. We'll say uh, let button equals sender as UI button so we know that's true um, now we can go let tag equals actually let's see we want the filter we'll say let filter equals filters model dot filters okay we need that tag now so we'll go to the button and we'll just grab the tag I hope that makes sense um, so now we have the filter and let's see here we have the view controller and we want to pass the view controller our filter. Unfortunately, it's just a view controller at this point, so we need to cast this. So we're going to say as, um, and we know what kind of view controller it is. It's a linear adjustable view controller. Right? So now I can go to the view controller, and the filter is equal to, and you know, this seems kind of unnecessary to assign it to a temporary so I'm just going to do this there that's a little better a little better okay so when the guy clicks on uh, edit what did I do not correct here What did 
did I do? What did I do? I'm just going to undo my change there because it may make it easier to spot the problem. So this is a Oh, we need to cast it. Right, 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 right. Um, we know that the filter that we got back is actually a linear adjustable filter. Of course, this just knows that it's a filter. So we know that we can safely say uh, as linear adjustable filter. Okay. And you know now that I think about it, ah, oh, no, that's good enough. And yeah, what's this complaining about? Oh, don't need that anymore. Okay. Ah, okay, according to this, we don't need the exclamation because we know it's a downcast. We can do that because this is optional. Okay, that's a little neater. Um, right, so now the guy clicks on the button. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's give that a quick run. And what I'm going to do is I will actually add a few filters um, just to make sure that you know we're testing something. Um, yes. So I'll add a mix filter, a scale intensity filter, and a mix filter. Right, so the guy clicks on the edit button and it says scale intensity awesome okay that's it for this video so you can see um, so now if we had yeah, you know, like I said where did that come from well the filter got passed in so this view controller now has knowledge of the filter and we can start doing things with the intensity now which we'll do in the next video uh, thank you very much hope to see you soon